Hey you guys! Okay, so just turn on the camera. Got some things to unbox. I got some outfits to try on. I got some sales to talk about if you like Abercrombie. If you wanted to shop some of the skincare stuff that I posted last week. Um, just so many things. I've got like a really good like loungewear set. So like Abercrombie, Airy, Elemis. So many different things are on sale right now. Um, or having a big sale, I believe between 25% and 20% off site wide for these brands. So we're going to get into that because I think that's so um, exciting. But I have so many like, I've got my little rolling rack, you can't really see. i got fall looks, okay, some fall things, some staple pieces that you don't want to miss. Okay, I'm on my, it's the third day, but shameful um hair right now and <laughs> i wanted to show you what i've been doing lately i've never been big on hats mostly because and when people say oh i have big feet or oh you know i'm i have a big head or oh, i can't wear this or that usually it's like okay but honestly i can't wear hats like if i find a hat or like a straw hat or a sun hat or something that someone's just selling i can't do it because my my Okay, my head is large, okay, since I was a kid. So I have to always get like men's hats or even like certain baseball caps are even at the, like, I mean at the largest, okay. But they just don't look right on me. They don't fit right or they're too high up or they have a weird shape. There's so many that I've returned and I'm just like, I'm just not a hat person. But um, I really love Jen's hats. The l &M hats are always good. But I found this one, and you're going to be shocked, okay? So this is, look at look at how just loose, if you've got thicker hair. Ugh, it's chic. It touches right at the ears, and again, I got a big head, so usually if I do get one that's going to work, it like stops up here, and I'm like, I look like I need like a little propeller. You know, like, the, what is it? You know, like a little spinner on the top. Like I feel like a little kid. This is so chic. I wore this out the other day. That's not a soul shake. I wore it out the other day and I was like, okay, did nothing to my hair this morning. And you might be like, okay, great, who cares? But I'm just saying, a hat, game changer. Now this one is by Anina Bing, which is a brand I have been obsessed with for years. It epitomizes like, I feel what I've always tried to do, not tried, but like my style is, I like to follow trends, but I've always been kind of like classic with my, um, with like my style. And, you know, now the name for that is, like, Quiet Luxury. People are putting a name on that. And, you know, really it's just dressing in a more classic way, designer stuff, with no, like, loud labels all over, okay? But let me tell you, this brand, though, I think really epitomizes that whole, like, quiet luxury thing that people are really, like, excited about right now or just, you know, how a lot of us have been dressing, but now there's a name for it, you know? Um, I really do like this brand, I would say maybe, gosh, years and years ago, I think before they even sold her stuff, like, at, you know, at Revolve or anywhere, I ordered a coat or a jacket, that nubby black jacket directly from them. And I, I think this was like probably eight, around eight or so years ago. It was the most I'd ever spent on a piece of clothing. And that is like one of my most prized things in my closet. It's that a brand that like, you know, things are a little more expensive, um, the clothing pieces, but you're going to have them forever. You know what I mean? And when I saw this hat, I was thinking, I ain't spending like 100 bucks on it. This hat was 60 bucks. And you might think, but you get like a Nike hat for that. Or you could get like, you know, I bought a hat from Urban Outfitters a while back, that one that says New York, that I think was 45. So I'm just saying it's a good hat. I may have ordered them in a few other colors. And this was not something I was going to do today, but my order just hit my porch from Revolve. So we're going to open it up. And I'm going to have some coffee because I really liked that last video. It helped me get through. And I've been filming like a little earlier than usual. Okay, now that we're kind of back in the groove. Okay, what I'm wearing today, I'll link my hoops. I've really been into my name necklace again. I just love that. And then, oh my gosh, I love this. This is such a cute piece because you can wear it on its own. It's one of those true like everyday necklaces. But I like that you can layer it with other things and it's not too much. These earrings I love, they remind me of my second grade teacher, like in the 90s, like had, she would always wear these like chunky hoops that were twist. honestly they look just like these, and she also had a pair that had like lions, and I was just always so mesmerized by her and her outfits, and like, I don't know, it's funny to think back on, it was very like Princess Diana, like she would wear like the big, 
you know, the, the big t-shirts or the big sweatshirts, you know, with like bike shorts as we do, you know. And it's just funny how like that whole, you know, everything just kind of comes back around. But it's classic and I really like these. Okay, I can't really tell because I don't have a big viewfinder. People will say like, I don't have like a screen where I can see anything. So that's why sometimes I'm like, what's happening? Um, okay. This lip color, you guys, so good. If you order anything from Revolve, grab one of these. This Dose of Colors, a long time ago, I used like one of their matte liquid lipsticks and I thought I was gonna die because literally it was so drying. But these are so good because you get the look of the matte, but it's, it's just like their matte lipstick. It kind of sets, but it still feels like you could wipe it off if you wanted to, but it stays on a long time. And this color called Casual is just the best. Okay, I have been a little stuffy lately, so bear with me. So this top, you guys, so flippin' cute. I love like a, like kind of like a crisp white button down. That's something that I feel is, has been essential for a long time, but like now, you know, wear it as a cover up, throw it on, you know, and tie it. We've talked about that for years and having a good one is, is great. But a lot of times, you know, I just wanna put on something that's comfortable and I love how this one is like kind of a flowy, soft material. It's like you don't have to, you know, be so fussy about it. It's not fussy at all. But it still has that like, like it doesn't look bummy either. Like, oh, this is something I'd wear like on the beach. But it still has that sort of like tailored look to it. They come in so many different colors. The denim as well. I really love these. They're a really good pair of flares that have just the right kiss of stretch without making them look kind of cheap because with denim sometimes, you know, I want them to look more like denim. If they look too stretchy or they feel too stretchy, which is a good feeling, um, they can look kind of cheap or they just, or the, the wash doesn't ever take, you know, just right or look just right. You know, you could kind of tie this, you could, you know, do so many things with this. And again, like I said, it comes in a lot of colors. So grab those and let me tell you, I'm just gonna do this very informal. I'm not gonna like do all the cuts and everything. I'm just gonna like talk as I try on, but this is a part of the Abercrombie sale. So you can't just go and get the discount. You have to shop because it's an LTK app sale. Just as I link everything below, you guys are used to that. I'm gonna put a direct link to my LTK post linking all of these items from the Abercrombie sale that I'm recommending. And on that post, when you click, there's gonna be a code that you can copy. So that's how you have to shop it, um, which is easy. It's the same as copying a code from here as you guys do, but everything's just gonna kind of be in one place and you have to generate the code through the app. So that's all gonna be below. And I have so many things that I wanna pick up during it as well. I want to get this in a few other colors because I really love the fit. It's back there. Okay, this again, we have ran this in the ground, but if you're gonna order anything from Abercrombie, this is such a good piece. You can see me wearing it. Oh my God, I posted it a lot on my Instagram. It's like one of those things I've been wearing on repeat. Throw it on, it's it's so great. Going into the, um, going into the fall, it's so good. It's, it's lined with silk. It's got these beautiful buttons and it also comes in like an ivory and a navy, the ivory is so good and so tempting. And it's been in my cart so many times, but I'm like, during the sale, I think I might grab it because it's that good. Mine's a small because I wanted it to be a little more fitted, but you could definitely size up if you wanted like a larger fit. But even, you know, I mean, you guys have seen me try that on a million times. I feel like that's just kind of a lot. And then this too, I talked about this a few months ago. Cropped things are, I don't see trending, but like for a while, it very much was not the case, like cropped jackets, right? Crop tops, yeah, but the big like oversized blazers and the really long coats and jackets. Well, I think with blazers, it's kind of coming a little, it's coming back around. And this is such a good one that has such a nice tailored fit, but it is slightly cropped. So, and this is kind of like a more linen, you know, like summer blend fabric but they have it in regular you know just a typical you know like blazer fabric or something it's so many colors and then we've talked about these a lot too I'm gonna try on some new stuff in a second but I'm just kind of reviewing because I brought down some things that's like classic stuff not trendy things but just things that if you are gonna shop this sale it's a really good idea the trousers at Abercrombie I feel are kind of unmatched I've worn these so many times in videos they're beautiful they don't look ridiculous but they do look on trend 
and you know very wide legged and nice and I think you guys are going to really um, be happy that you scooped those up. My favorite tanks that are from Abercrombie that are kind of like the perfect, you know, I talked about this in a recent video. They're not cropped in that you're going to see your belly, but they just hit you. Like, see, that's overlapping my jean line. They're going to hit you at the perfect point where you don't have to worry about, you know, tucking something in or, you know, having it show. It, they're just really, really great. And the price is always great, but during this sale is, is when you want to grab this stuff. Um, a few more. I have two more things that are just wrecks, and then we'll get into trying on a few more other things. This skirt, I ended up swapping the one that I had on in the video last time for a small, which I'm always a medium in most things. Like a true, like four, size 27. Mediums are always good, but I feel like Abercrombie, I used to always be afraid of, because I grew up in like the, you know, when I was like coming up, you know, high school and college, like late 90s, early 2000s, okay? And, you know, the, the era, okay, of Abercrombie. And I'll be honest, like, I feel like the things were like this tiny. It was, things were so shrunken, and I don't know if they've just completely gone the opposite direction. At Abercrombie, maybe size down with a lot of things, but this is cute. Good vibe because it's not so, like, trendy, like, let's put the giant cargos, you know, on. It's, it's just perfect because it has kind of that vibe, but without being so, like, literal, you know early 2000s, like, let's just do that again and wear a costume. I took a little break. I took some photos, so I put my hair up. Um, okay, I'll show you the hat, or a few more of those hats to show, okay? We'll, we'll get back to the hats in a second. Abercrombie, and I've talked and raved about these for years, makes some of the softest, buttery softest sweatshirts, head, um, headies, hoodies, half zips, um, full zips. This is one of those things, and I'm, I mean, I wouldn't really, like, wear it with this, but just... You throw it on, I wear these all the time. I have a gray one, I have a camel one, I have two black ones, that's how much I love it. Um, I think I have one like just in my car all the time. It's just the best. And it's like my best friend, like just jacket that I can't be without and I love it so much. And in these I get a medium. And anything that you, <sighs> there's some things at Abercrombie that are hoodies that are that, um, more like a sporty, like moisture wicking, you know, almost makes you feel a little cold, you know, I don't know how to explain it, like smooth fabric, which I had to return, did not like those. Anything that says like Sunday, okay, so there's like some shorts that say like, what's it called, like Sunday Essentials or the Sunday Pullover, I don't know, I'll link to this exact one. So, so good. Grab them while you can get them on sale. Okay, so getting into a few things that are new from Abercrombie, I ordered the pants, this, and this. Okay, it's a bodysuit, and just to show you how nicely it's made, okay, it's a thong bodysuit. I always wear underwear with these. Okay, let's not, let's not even get into the logistics of that. <sighs> wear underwear, okay. So many bodysuits and tops like this that like when you wear jeans like this, you see the line in the back of the top. And usually like, cause I'm kind of more, you know, longer waisted, I have a longer torso, it's usually pulling. So you can really see that line. And I love how this one um, is like a thong and it's ribbed, it's pretty. I'm gonna try this one on for you guys. I just thought this was such a good, you know, basic piece. Okay, so just getting this on, this is made so perfectly for people with a longer torso. There's so much room. Um, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I think I'm gonna get it in a few other colors because I just love, I just love kind of, I love the fit, I love how it's very soft. I do love the ribbing in it. Okay, the hat's going back on. I just wanna show you guys, I mean, this is cute. It's very like, and again, oh my gosh, like, so much room in this hat like I wore it out the other day I was out all day in this and it never itched me it never like it's not squeezing my forehead I didn't have any marks on my forehead and when I got home I took it off and I didn't have like obnoxious hat hair because it's not so tight you know okay guys when I was changing I was like I, I gotta put on that skirt with this top because I just felt like it was gonna really be good and it is so we're going on a trip soon and I'm like I'm definitely gonna pack this some of those basic tanks 
I mean, maybe even like this, or, or not even, just carry like your zip up, throw it on over the tanks with something like this. I've really been loving this bag again too, you guys. Um, the handbag video is coming soon. Not to be like, look at the handbags. We've seen it, we know, but I want to sort of address the whole like, just like luxury stuff in general, what we should be spending on, what we shouldn't be bothering with, like where are our collections after all these years? Like, and you know, are we at a point where we've actually gotten good stuff and the search, you know, at some point, like, that should be over because you always want to collect good things. But if you see something that really knocks your socks off, like, yeah, let's get that. But just having those classic cornerstone pieces that are going to be, like, worth the most for you in the long run, that isn't going to be, like, throwing your money into the drain, something that's going to hold its value, and something that is going to last, you know, so that you could sell it one day if you wanted to. Um... But anyways, we'll, we'll talk about all those things, but I just, this is such a good one, and um, really love, really love this one. Okay, but here we go. So, it's really cute. I wanted to kind of just show how this works together. Okay, so, Airy is a part of the sale as well. I'll put the link to, again, if you're like, how do I do this? How do I shop? It's so flippin' easy, you guys. Just links are below and then you know you go to the LTK and it'll have the code there so because it's a sale through LTK like you have to go through the post um, I can't just like put it below so um so Aries a part of it months ago I showed you guys this set and I was like this is amazing now if you slept on this you need to get it now for when it's on sale but this I've worn like all summer push the sleeves up you can put a little tank under which this one's from Abercrombie too um, can button it up and it's super cute buttoned down but this also is kind of like a super soft like shacket type of vibe that you could wear over a top like this with jeans um, you know you could do so many things with it it's so casual but at the same time like I could go out in this and I wouldn't feel like I was wearing jammies do you know what I mean so so cute so definitely definitely grab this and then you guys before we unbox the Revolve stuff, I want to show you. As you can see, like, the hat didn't wreck my hair. So, okay, I've been wearing these lately. You guys know with my foot and everything, it has been so swollen and honestly impossible to wear sneakers because the, like, you know, the, the big part of your foot here is always, is for me, has been very, it's just thick. And so, like, it's not even the width, like, at the toes. It's that part of the foot, like, won't go into a sneaker here. And so I bought these a long time ago, and I was so just dying to wear them. I'm like, am I ever going to get into sneakers? And then all of a sudden, like a couple weeks ago, like overnight, it feels like my foot was recognizable again. Now, it still won't go into a lot of shoes, but it's so much better. And I was so happy to get these on. And these are those Cloud Nova sneakers. They come in so many different types. Some of them I don't think are very cute, but these I thought were super, super cute. They sell out really quickly in the white. Um, and you can see like just when you get them on there's just so much give if you have a wider foot but I don't know just they, they're just so good I wore them the other day when I got home I was like I don't want to take these off because I mean I always take my shoes off when I come home but I'm like oh they're just so good so super cute they would work perfectly with something like this and then these also I've been wearing a lot now these are a little spendier I did get these a couple years back and again, you spend something once, you're going to have these forever because they, they really do, they're really great quality, but they're the Prada loafers that don't have the backs. They're like the mules, which I love. And they have the ones that have like the bigger heels, which I bought those around the same time I got these and ended up returning them because I just didn't think they were that comfortable. I felt like my foot was like jamming into the bottom every time I would walk. But these are so great and I can slip my foot into these, no problem. They've been so comfortable, but such, I think, a good shoe little chunkier, you know, a loafer, very classic for the fall. Okay, so that's that. Let's get into these things. So I literally that was going to be the video, but I thought, okay, these things kind of hit the porch today and I thought, let me see cuz I I know what they are, but very rarely do I unbox something like in a try on. I always make sure things are already good, but this is kind of might be fun to do. So, oh, I'm so excited about this. Um, okay, denim jackets. I you know, I have a big one that's very oversized and very light washed. I have my Levi's jacket that is beloved, that is not so, it's not long, it's not cropped, it's just a classic fit, but it is a little looser and it is holy and like gaping, you know, like the holes are, they're out there and it's very light wash. I've got 
Um, you know, like one that's a little more fitted from Old Navy and a little cropped and, you know, just the jackets, different ones that we have. But I want to, this is shameful, but Real Housewives of New York, I saw um, Jenna Lyons, which I didn't realize, like, I was really shopping and hitting J. Crew heavy, as we all were in those Jenna Lyons days. Um, okay, whatever. Anyways, she looked real chic. And she was wearing a denim jacket, and I believe it was this one, just kind of draped over, and it was in this perfect wash. And I thought, you know, with denim jackets, they can go so trendy so fast. Too dark, too light. The fit can be all wonky. I was like, I just want one that is classic. And so this is the, um, what was it called? Not oversized jacket. Was it a boyfriend jacket or a trucker jacket? And she kind of just had it on like this over a dress and I was just like, hmm. And I got a medium. Um, it is oversized, so I really wanted it to be very oversized so that I could just kind of wear it over things. I can wear it, I can twirl, I can put it over things. I can, <laughs> okay, you guys get it, okay. But I just thought it was really cute. And then let me put it on. Um, just so oversized, kind of like a vintage vibe and so cute okay and that's exactly what i wanted i'm so excited okay so really great i think you can't beat levi's for a good denim jacket okay this everything so like again they came in a bunch of different colors but i just thought that this was really nice it's not too light it's not too white i see a lot of people talking about the no white after labor day it's become a thing on instagram you see people really breaking it down and as a southern Lemon. Um, I'm not saying that I know the truth about this like trend or, or not trend but rule or that my way is the right way but I'm saying I think people get it a little wrong. No White After Labor Day is about accessories, leather goods, shoes, bags, belts. You can wear a white suit after Labor Day if you wear nude shoes or this or that. We like to call it winter white, just so that we don't sound like we're getting too, you know, like we're diverting too far from the rule. But a lot of people, you know, oh, I can't wear white t-shirts, can't wear this white blazer. Not, I wouldn't wear like a linen or something like that. Okay, that's a whole thing, a whole different thing. Um, but don't wear white shoes, don't wear white bags. I don't say don't, but I'm just saying if you wanna kind of stick to the no white after Labor Day, especially like in the US, I just feel like that's kind of a thing, just with the weather. Um, and then you can start wearing it again at Easter. I remember at Easter, I'd always get a new pair of little white shoes and, um, okay, I don't know. Do I sound insane? I just wanted to break that down. It's not about tops. I saw someone saying like, you can't wear white, and, okay, white denim. It's not that that's against the rules. It's just like, what you gonna do with that in the winter? Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's put this on. So this is the fit of this. I got a... So I got a medium in this because I wanted it to be, you know, a little oversized. I didn't, I mean, you could definitely go, I could have worn a small, I could have worn a large. It's just one of those things, it's just like, you know, who cares. But they do have it in black as well. And now that I've seen it, I've seen the quality of it, I think the black might look really nice as well. And I think sometimes, all in your face there, um, I think sometimes with cardigans, you can spend so much on a cardigan like this and they can look so insanely cheap. And, oh. Okay, now, the hat. The hat. Again, I've never loved a hat. Like, I've, I've, I have that, like I said, I have that New York one, I have that, but I've never felt like, wow, this is not only cute, but it is comfortable. All the things that we want, so. And it's a brand that I absolutely love. And the price point is really good, I think, for this brand and for what it is, okay? Okay, so I got it in this color too because I thought, well, I want a lighter color. I love how it's adjustable like that in the back. I love hats that adjust like that. Oh yeah, let's loosen that bad boy up. Yes, oh, goes right on. Goes right on, doesn't squeeze your brain, doesn't give you a headache. Okay, love. Tiffany, what else did you get? I got another hat. Oh my gosh, I might return one of these because these might be a little too similar. A little too close for comfort. This one says London and it's kind of, it's kind of a sea foam. 
So I thought the color was going to be a little different. That Because I was looking at this thing. You know, this is the khaki one I ordered. It's not. I thought it was going to be a little greener. So this one is the khaki, and it's exactly the same as the black one as far as the logo goes. But the hats are all made the same. I love this so much. I love these hats so much that um, even if I accidentally ordered two of the same one, I don't even know if I'd return it because that's how much I love them. So I don't think I'm going to return this. I think I'm going to keep both of them and just rock out, rock out to both. And just, yay. Okay. The London one's so cute. And then this is the other one. Oh, yeah, this one. This one's different, right? I'm obsessed. I just, I'm, I'm sick. Okay. I'm cutting, I'm cutting the tags off of this. And this. She's lost her mind. Gosh. Tiffany is so crazy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. I, I've never thought that I would feel so good about myself in a hat. Who am I? Um, okay, I have a few more clothes, but these I was really interested in. I love this brand. Well, I love this brand. I love one thing by this brand. It's literally the only thing I've ever tried. The uh, the facial spray, the Tower 28. So this is called a one-liner. And basically they come in just a few colors. They come in like a universal brown, a nude, and a pink. Maybe another color, I don't know. But you can use it anywhere. Like brows, lip liner, eyeliner. Um, and really, I was interested in the brown one because I thought that might be really good for eyebrows which yes it looks really good but ooh, looks like a really good brown and then the other one that I got I'll link to the exact ones it says the only one you need the most eligible liner is here and wants to make it official say for eyes lips and face okay and then this one is more of like a nude which that might be really good for brows too and really good like on your lips or like this color I think would be perfect for right under your lash line right here I always like to smudge like a medium brown um, I think that's really good for like I don't want to say like anti-aging but just kind of like to blur the look of fine lines rather than you, you don't want to put so much concealer over that because it'll settle It'll accentuate. Sometimes it's better just to blur a little bit of brown. Not like under your eyes, but right at the lash line and down. Okay. Excited for that. I forgot what this is. Oh, yes. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like a one shoulder type of deal i don't know i'm not gonna put that on right this second i'll wear that soon but really soft and nice i have that in like a lighter color um i'll link to all of it so you can see and then this i am a sucker for first of all i'm a sucker for vacations in the fall like a beach vacation not during the summer but during the fall it kind of helps you kind of ease into the holiday i don't know if you're going to plan a trip to the beach, I like to do it kind of later in the year. It's just fun. But that always leaves me open to like wanting to buy clothes that are not for the right season during that time. And usually I'll just kind of like wear things, of course, like dresses that I have and easy things. But sometimes I'm tempted to get something new and special. And I did. And I think this is really, really cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. I usually don't like a, so much of like a chevron zigzag vibe but i think this would be really cute um so i will link to that and i will try that on soon and post it on my ltk but if you guys are curious about that and i got a medium which looks like that's going to be right because it looked very not small but smaller than i thought now this i don't know if i'm going to keep this looks a little too disco dancy and i thought it was going to be um i thought it was going to be a little more nude but she's gold she's solid gold but that might be cute I don't know. I might play around with that. I'll link to that. Really cute. And, um, you know, Revolve, I like to kind of treat myself every now and then. It's kind of always, like, been my spot where I can find real good, like, you know, nice pair of Levi's, nice Levi's jacket, like, really good denim, but then, like, a special piece, you know? And it's, it's more expensive. Like, they do have, you know, good things that you can find that are not so crazy expensive, but I do feel like I do a good job at finding the good stuff there. That's not insane, um, but I did place an order to Nordstrom recently, 
with two things that I found that were they're really good. They're affordable. They have not come yet. Their, their shipping has been kind of slow lately. I mean, this Revolve stuff, I mean, I placed the order yesterday and it's like, boom, here it is. So I don't know. You know, places just get backed up. But I will show you guys that soon. I'm just so into these hats, you guys. And again, it's not like you... This is the thing. Nothing worse than putting on an outfit, putting on a hat, and feeling physically... I can't wear something if it feels stiff or uncomfortable. I really, really love the feel of this hat. Love it. And when I wore it out the other day, I felt like really on. You know, like, you can't, I can't explain it, but like, you know, you wear an, an outfit or you wear something and you've, it's confidence, but also, which hats give you, you know, because you're a little like, and it, I feel like it makes your eye makeup like look a little more intense. I don't know, you can wear more makeup when you wear a hat. Or wear it when you're wearing nothing and you literally like look just fine, you know, because nobody's looking at your face or looking at your hat. Um, but I, I can't have anything that feels uncomfortable, you know what I mean? Anyways, I felt really good when I was wearing this. And um, whether you think it looks great or not, I don't, I just know how it made me feel. And it's comfortable. This is so comfortable. All of these pieces, so nice. That white button-down blouse. Blouse? Blouse? Oh. The white button-down shirt is one of those things too where you know you wear a white button down like this is not comfortable like this is not but it is that one is so comfortable and you get the look of like a really crisp white shirt but it feels like pajamas so you guys i feel like these were just some like like amazing finds okay really good stuff and again i wanted to share this with you today so that you could get the discount um through the ltk sale so super simple it's all below. Um, you can head there and in the post where I link to it, it'll just take you to the LTK, which is going to have everything linked. All these items are going to be linked. Um, there'll be a code that you can use. And I'll also link to, I know we did the skincare video last week, but the Elemis, my magic like under eye balm, that mask balm, that like, I don't know what the heck, like I don't know why nobody ever talks about that stuff, but again, like, and I'm not trying to say that, but like I didn't know anything about it. I'm like, I really wish I would have known about this stuff. I mean, it makes your eye area look like filtered and it's at night, like I'll put some on over. You know, I, mean, I thought I thought my battery was gonna last through this. Just a few more seconds. Put it on right before I go to sleep, it's so good. Um, and then that honey, the moisturizing mask is really nice. Everything they've got is good. I mean, I'm not. Um, they're actual eye patches, which I'm thinking I might order during the sale just because they are so expensive usually. And I don't know, they're the best, okay? Best eye patches that money can buy are the ones that Elemis makes, which I don't have any right now, but the actual balm that is the eye mask balm is what you want. So I'll link to that as well. Um, again, it's the same vibe. You can get the code through the LTK post. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna link to everything and anything that I didn't try on, because um, I'm, I'm truly wearing this today. I didn't want to like change again and some of those things I'm just going to like get into to change back out of. Um, I will post on my LTK this week and might wear some in upcoming videos. But I just wanted you guys to see the sales stuff today. And I thought that was kind of fun and good timing that my hats hit the porch. Okay. I'm really into hats. We're in a hat moment era. But check these out. And again, like 60 bucks is, is, is a lot. But I think like for a hat, something that you're going to wear a lot. And it's this great brand and just the way that it's made, I think it's a good, I think it's good. So check those out, you guys. If you've ever been wanting to try anything in Nina Bing, I think that's such a cool way to do it because you could wear like literally the most, like any kind of clothing and then throw this hat on. It's kind of like the equivalent of having like a, like for me, I like to dress usually like more affordably. I don't buy like tons and tons, like designers, it's like super designery clothes, but I love like a designer bag or an accessory, and so this kind of elevates that, which I think is cool. So anyways, you guys, I hope that you're doing well. Check out our podcast if you haven't. We have a really good episode this week that just drop, they drop every Wednesday, and now we've been doing it over two years, and it's so much fun. And um, I hope that you guys check that out, and I will link to everything below that you need to know for the sale. So love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.